Hi Scorpio, welcome to the extended reading. This is how your person feels about you. I'm going to be delivering four readings for today. How your person feels about you. I'm seeing a tower moment. Let's start with singles, okay? How your person feels about you, singles. What can I get for singles, please? How your person feels about you, all right? Singles, dating, getting to know. How your person feels about you, love energy, all right? Here you go, singles. You've got the page of ones in reverse. Ooh, you're very sad that you haven't called them or text them or reply or respond or follow up. They're ready for a commitment. You could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, Sagittarius energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, but they are ready. If you follow up, if you text them, if you call them, like if there's a chase, if, if there is an input coming from you, they will be delighted. Three of Cups, they would initial, like if you initiate, they would grab the opportunity they will make you feel that they're ready for a commitment and they would like to see you again. This person, singles, you could be dealing with someone new. You will meet someone new. But be vulnerable because whoever you will meet or you're connecting right now, singles, they're ready for a commitment and they would like to show something of a vulnerability from you, Scorpio singles, okay? Now, let's look at um, how your person feels about you if you're dealing with someone from the past or it could be an ex, all right? If you're manifesting someone from the past, it could be an ex or someone from the past, how your person feels about you, okay? The death card, they think about you, Scorpio. They stalk you, and they love you. Okay, let's look at the death card. What's the death card? You know, this person regrets that they have not called you or greeted you in your birthday. This is someone in the past that you're manifesting. This could be an ex, but this is, you had a mutual. You had a lot of, uh, it's a mutual energy, you know, if it's not an ex, but this is a person from the past that you know and they know. You're both aware that you have feelings with each other. Um, I don't know how long you have not been in touch with one another, but they're kind of sad that they haven't greeted you, that they were not there, they were not around for your birthday. They've been thinking about you. Yes, they don't physically call you or text you, but they've been stalking you. Look at the Five of Swords, how the Five of Swords is trying to play game with the Death card. This is like, you can't, you can't play with death. <laughs> Look at them, five of swords, playing with death card, playing dead. But actually, they're very much alive. King of cups. They so love you, like you, miss you. But they play with their heart. And who suffers if you play with your heart? Them. So that is, so you know this. You're aware of this. You feel this. You feel this. What is their action? King of cups. What is their action? Ooh, you've got six of cups. They miss you. I told you they miss you. King of pentacles. But they won't call you or text you. Why? Why is that the hangman? I think this person is studying or... This person from the past is studying how to let go of ego and to let, to let you know how they really feel. This is a transformation because... They try to move on. They stalk. They try to move. They try to move on. They try to cheat with death and move on, but they couldn't. So the Five of Swords is looking at the Death card. So they couldn't, and so they have to face with their real feelings. So they're into their feelings right now. Six of Cups. When they dealt with their feelings, Six of Cups. Scorpio is my soulmate. King of Pentacles. But I cannot commit. I don't want to commit. And then hangman in reverse. So this person is in and out of their thoughts and feelings. Will I follow my heart? Will I follow my... Right now, what's... This person this week, it's still the ego who's winning over the heart. What is the hangman? Let's see the energy this week. What will this person release? 
Okay, there you go. You see that? You see that, Scorpio? Ace of Cups. The Hermit card. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This person will, you know, eventually submit the Ace of Cups. You know, this person has been holding on with you and them, the energy of you. They tried to really cheat with that, cheat with feelings. They tried to cheat with their feelings. But, you know, Mercury is in Scorpio. Mercury is no longer um, retrograde. So the theme of the energy in the next two to three weeks is that you've got to be through to your feelings because it's going to haunt you. So this person from the past that's you, that you are manifesting could be an ex, but it's someone in the past, it's someone you dealt with. They will eventually release the Ace of Cups. Okay, so wait, because it took it might take them a while. For some of you, I'm hearing the word, the date, sorry. Um, 16, um, 18, 21. All right? Now, okay. Okay, there's a follow-up. You know, they're scared to be rejected. They'll give it all. They'll offer you love, but they're scared, Scorpio, that you will reject them. There's a lot of, you know, this person that you're dealing with. From the past it could be two person okay it could be two person that would try to offer you an ace of cups an ex and someone from the past two candidates um today they will say i'm i'm gonna proceed calling texting follow up following up and then the next day they won't so there's a lot of battle between their head over heart decision but what is strong is that they want ace of cups it's a person who's building the courage, building the momentum, building the right time to approach you. This is quite strong. This person has been through a lot of struggle to prevent them loving, liking, missing, calling, texting you, Scorpio. Now let's look at a multiple dating. I felt like changing the deck. What can I get for Scorpio? Multiple dating or third party. What is the message? Multiple dating or third party for Scorpio, please. One more shuffle. Magician card. Okay, they will come out from fear. They will offer you the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Okay, for multiple dating and third party, you're dealing with multiple dating. If you felt like the person that you're dealing with or manifesting with, you've got competition or third party. Again, two choices, Scorpio. You know what? From November 16th up until November 19th, I really feel like there's a lot of return. There is a lot of, re there's a return from the, uh, a blast from the past. Um, third week up until the end of November, a blast from the past and then there's some sort of decision making energy at the end of November so this return or new love you will filter it you will filter it out okay so multiple dating and third party they will offer you an apology they will offer you love but something fishy because they tell you they love you, they miss you. Um, but they won't follow up. Be careful because you've got the magician card, the judgment. This person wants you to fall in love with them. But this person turns you on. They tell you they miss you, they love you. And they might downgrade. Because their initial offer, third party in multiple dating is Knight of Cups. I love you, I miss you, I'm choosing you, I, I want to be with you. But they started off as magician. It's dreamy. It's very dreamy. It's very ambitious. It doesn't feel like it's real. They will express to you something. From Knight of Cups, it will be downgraded to Page of Cups. So be very careful. Like, don't believe them. Don't believe this person. I'm not I'm not saying they're lying, but um, it's a bit over the top. This person is offering. So be, be very practical on how you believe a person. Make sure that... Because this is all about expression, expressing emotions and feelings. And it is the Page of Cups is the last card, which is like from night, it downgraded to Page of Cups. For some of you, the reason why it downgraded uh, for the Page of Cups, because they have history of multiple dating or third party, you won't believe them right away, which is good. Because as soon as this person comes along, magician card, you are aware 
this this person is like fantasy or something to do with trickster judgment card so there's love to be honest with you with third party multiple dating there is love but confuse love loss confuse this person is really, is really trying to figure out which one they would like to choose like you're one of the candidate which one is real it is a developing story but what i get from the knight of cups and page of cups multiple dating and third party is that they would step back because they will feel that you are too smart scorpio you would smell that this person is exaggerating their offer but they won't stop it won't they, they won't stop from here because this person is lost and finding the way out of this third party or this confusing multiple dating that's that that's what happened when you multiple date or when you have a third party because you might end up with the wrong person okay you're confusing your love energy so this person was offering you they're confu they're confusing themselves so do not let them confuse you um it's a developing story there's more to come they won't leave you they will you're part of how they will understand this love journey they're about to make a choice and by contacting you calling you they will validate like it's more of i need to be close with you scorpio i need to talk to you to figure out how i feel towards you versus the other choice they'll they'll be able to make a decision making now the last reading is for scorpio in a relationship right you are married in a relationship but troubled what is the message for you what is the message for you how your person feels about you action reaction please the world card you could be divorcing or about to divorce but it won't proceed the moon card is in reverse it's clear this person will look back don't fight them i'm hearing that yeah don't fight them don't like be true to what you really want most especially if you've got kids you know Take some time off, but don't just jump right away into the divorce, something like that. For some of you, I feel like they want to divorce you. Don't fight them. Let them do it. Because I feel like they're going to back out. Yeah, two of pentacles. What's the choice? Yeah, two of wands. What's the plan? They will walk away. Yeah, they will walk away only to find out that they left the cup with you. Hmm. Um, so for Scorpio in a relationship, troubled, troubled relationship, this is something that you cannot prevent from happening. I really feel like your person would have to leave you, let you go, or take some time off before they realize that the King of Cups, that um, you are, you know, it's, it's more of love and loss, love and loss and found, L lost and found love. You know, you, you can't really control people. You will just frustrate yourself if you feel like you've convinced them, you've made your part, and they still want to let go to proceed. Shut your mouth. Don't put more anger and hate to this complicated situation. Because for some of you, you're married, your kids is at stake. Just be quiet. It's a quiet... That, what's advice to you, Scorpio? It's It's... It's a... To battle with this is to be quiet and to express what you really feel. To believe in compromise. To say that there's a compromise, but if you want to do this, go. Because you, you can't really, because what I'm seeing in here is, you know, really leaving you. And then you being quiet, being distant, make, them per, make this person, because they will leave, you know. They will walk away, they will leave temporary for some of you eight weeks eight months for some of you in the real then they will realize that king of cups and that i still am will forever be in love with my scorpio this is your soulmate um so yeah good luck scorpio this is your reading this is your extended reading i'll get one more card for the queen of sorry king of cups yeah so they will learn a lesson one more please Yep. So I really feel like for relationship, troubled relationship for Scorpio, there is really 
a separation of ways in here. This is you and them needing to clear out the toxic. The third party energy, whatever it is that you guys fought. It will be cleared out and love will rise. If love is strong, it always comes back. And what's advice for you is that ba the battle to this, you know, it's like a silent battle. Like keep no more, don't add hurtful words to this complicated situation. Like do it quietly, Scorpio. Do it quietly, all right? And find peace and serenity. Do it quietly. I'm getting that. So this is your reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I'll see you soon again, guys. Bye-bye.